airfield maintenance, lighting systems. There's a lot to my job. <laughs> the only thing I don't have is a degree. And I don't know, we'll see what happens. I mean, this thing's going to end before the base that I'm at is due to close on uh, 4 December. Uh, the last base at USD South is going to close 24 December. And that's that's it. That's Iraq. They are going to keep 11 bases, but they're going for Department of State. And the way shit's going now, we got 50,000 soldiers still there. And we're getting this shit bombed out of us. When they leave, it's going to be hired mercenaries. They ain't going to leave. They ain't we're gonna. still pushing forward like we are. Yeah, I don't think they're going to leave, dude. I don't. Th this kid, that I, this guy that I was talking to, that's going over there to the a Apache helicopter mechanic. He says he says they'll never pull all the way out. Did you play like that down at your He says we'll always have a presence there. He says the second we pull all out, Syria it'll go and all Iran. back to hell. Syria and Iran will take over. And it ain't about oil. No, it's not. Iraq is full of uranium. Is that what they're after, is uranium? Well, that's what you make. Uranium, you make plutonium, weapons-grade plutonium out of it. That's what it is. Now you can make nukes. If we actually pull out of there, I, I would give it less than 60 days and Syria and Iran will overrun Iraq. And now you do have a problem. A major problem. No. No, you can't just That president's talking out of his ass when he's talking that we're going to pull all the way out of there. He's... he's He's, He's an, idiot. an idiot. So is 75% of the Congress.